When a Chinese student in the U.S. posted a video mocking the Chinese Communist regime on TikTok, he didn't expect what happened next. The following ochtend had TikTok my account for good verwijderd. TikTok is a video app popular with American teenagers. Its popularity surged during the virus pandemic. In the first quarter of this year, the app recorded over 2 billion downloads. The country with the third highest downloads was the U.S. This hugely popular app was owned by a company in Beijing. Zhou is very angry that his account was shut down because he uses the overseas version of the app. Als het in de VS actief is, zou het de wet van de VS moeten volgen. TikTok's Chinese counterpart censored criticism of the communist regime, but it said it would treat its overseas users differently. Ik ben boos dat TikTok vrijheid van meningsuiting onderdrukt. He thinks the account shutdown has to do with the company's ties to Beijing. Zhou made the video after Hong Kong passed a controversial bill. It means anyone who disrespects China's national anthem could face up to three years in prison. Hong Kong pro-democracy activists see the bill as infringement on their freedom of expression. Zhou also expressed his anger over the bill. The CCP has not the right to Hong Kong so to dominate. And I am very angry over it. Zhou says Beijing's influence is not limited to Hong Kong. The regime has been sending student spies to steal intellectual property in Western countries. Beijing also uses its economic ties to take revenge and control freedom of speech in the free world. For example, after Australia demanded an investigation into the origin of the CCP virus, China imposed an 80% tariff on Australian barley imports. Alles wat de CCP heeft gedaan bedreigt de veiligheid van de wereld en de mensheid. Iemand moet zich uitspreken tegen hun misdaden. Zo vond ik de moed om iets te zeggen. Joe is the only one in his family that is anti-communism. Mijn hele familie steunt de CCP. But he is different due to his past experiences. Joe said at 18, his mother tried sending him to a Beijing college, saying he could earn a lot of money if he got in. I came through all the tests. They asked me to be loyal to the Communist Party and the state. I knew immediately that there was something wrong. I knew immediately that there was something wrong. This was really strange. I knew immediately the offer of the university. They asked me to go to a military school. Toen ik thuis kwam, gaf mijn moeder toe dat het een universiteit was voor het trainen van CCP-spionnen. He also doesn't like the education indoctrination. Joe said his school in the mainland forbade students to pursue their own personality and free will. Ik ben vrij om te denken wat ik wil. Dat is mijn recht. Wat heeft dat met anderen te maken? After college, he was able to use software to cross over China's massive internet censorship system. He learned more about the vicious deeds of the communist regime. Longing for democracy and freedom, Zhou went to the U.S. to study in 2011. He is now in his second master's degree. He says he doesn't plan on going back to China because he could face prison for mocking the party. Reporting by Juliet Song, NTD News.